Welcome back to another Power BI 3 minute tip. If you're liking these quick Power BI tutorials, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up conditional formatting on your table or matrix in Power BI. There are four different ways to conditionally format your table, and I will walk you through each one. So basically, we have the name of the customer on the left, and we have four different values for the sales amount. They all are the exact same, as you can see when I hover over. So basically, to set up conditional formatting, we're going to need to drag in a table and we're going to, need to put in data into that table. And once we do that, all we have to do is come to the formatting pane and go down to conditional formatting and just select the value we want to conditionally format. It'll only take a numeric value, so that's why we don't see full name here. But we can click on sales amount and I've already set up a conditional formatting on background color. You can see that that's why it's on. So this first uh, column here is conditionally formatted on background color as you can see. So let's go to advanced controls and we basically have the option to color by rules, format blank values as zero, but all I have set up here is this diverging color scale uh, to set up the background color. So the lowest value will be red, the middle value will be yellow, the highest value will be green. You don't have to do diverging, you can just be red to green based on uh, minimum to maximum, but I like to have this yellow color in the middle. So that's how you can see this color scale here. We have these very low values as red, and we have the kind of middle values as yellow, and the higher values as green. So it kind of makes sense. It's just kind of normally how you do it in Excel. Um, we also have the exact same functionality for font color. So clicking on sales amount two, um, background color is off at this point, font colors is on. So under advanced uh, advanced controls, it's the exact same setup here. It's just for font color. Uh, let's go to sales amount three. It's a little bit different uh, for this column. Instead of the background color or font color scales, we have data bars. And data bars are a little bit different and they're really cool. So clicking on advanced controls, you can set up these data bars where you can um, set the minimum value to be the lowest value, the maximum value to be the highest value. And it basically just shows you um, a bar just to kind of have a small bar graph for each table, uh, for each cell. So if I unclick show bar only, it might make a little more sense. It's basically just a bar showing the proportion of the cell that's taken up based on the value. So this 13,000, is, is it's a big value, so it's a really big bar in that cell. Um, it kind of makes sense. I like to uh, show bar only since we have the numbers in all the other cells. So it's a cool little way to throw in a little bar graph into your table. Um, and finally, uh, I'm gonna show you how to color by rules. This is kind of a new feature that they added a couple months ago and it's very flexible. So if we click on sales amount four, I'm still just doing a background color conditional formatting. Um, but when you click on advanced controls, all you have to do is click on color by rules and it brings up this little screen here. So you can add as many rules as you want and you basically say if it's greater than or equal to a number and less than a number, um, color it this color. If it's greater than or equal to another number, color it this color. And you basically set up these rules. So if you read through this, if it's greater than or equal to zero but less than 2000, color it red. If it's greater than 2000 but less than 4000, color it yellow. If it's basically greater than 4000, color it green. So if we look at that, it's exactly what we want here. So less than 2000 is red, between 2000 and 4000 is yellow, and greater than 4000 is green. So that's really cool. I really want to show you something that um, that should be noted. So we see this doesn't have any overlapping values. If we wanted to make them overlapping, so at this point we have this for 2000 to 4000 color yellow, but we have 2000 to a very high number color green. See how they'd be overlapping? If you click on OK, we can see this value right here is between 2000 to 4000 and it's green. So when you go to see your rules, it will always evaluate the like from top to bottom. So the last value that, it, um, that the value uh, really is good for is it's going to be that color. So even though it fits this yellow category, it's going to go to the green because it's the last rule that it can work for. So yeah, that's basically an overview on conditional formatting. It's getting more and more flexible with each update, really. So 
Um, yeah, if you like that, give it a try and subscribe to the channel if you like this video. And I will see you in the next Power BI 3 Minute Tip.